I want to take a little more detailed look now at the construction of a frame. So remember that frames are the PDU of the data link layer. And they look in general like this. It's going to have the packet, the data. This is the actual uh, stuff that it's trying to carry, uh, the payload, if you will. And it's going to attach a header onto that, and it's going to attach a trailer onto it. Note, by the way, that layer 2 is the only layer that attaches a, tra a trailer. All the others attach headers, but not trailers. All right, well, let's take a more detailed look at the header and the trailer then. In the header, first of all, is the preamble. Preamble looks like this, seven bytes of 0, 1, or 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. That is just to kind of tell the device, the, the receiving device, hey, there's something coming in, man. This looks like a pattern to me. It's not just random stuff that might be noise on the line. This looks like a pattern. And then when it's ready uh, in the eighth byte, to transmit it does the same thing except the last two bits here are a one instead of one zero so that's the synchronization bit here now the next thing that we get is the destination address in this case AAA was the destination and then the source MAC address over here in this case uh, BBBB was talking so that was the source and then we have a type field it's only two bytes long it may look something like this in fact, this particular set of bytes would mean that this is an IP version 4 type frame. Now we have the network header and data payload. So in other words, the layer 3 headers and the data are all wrapped up here as the payload. And as far as layer 2 is concerned, they're all data. Uh, 2 doesn't know about the headers that came from layer 3 or from layer 4. All it knows is this is the payload. And then finally we have something called the frame check sequence. And here we just have a, a, a set of numbers that is a mathematical formula, four bytes long, uh, that we're not going to go into the details of how the math works, but it tells us whether this frame had an error or not. And that is it then for the um, frame and the detailed construction of the frame.